This video will introduce you to some advanced searching concepts in World Docs. Now the first part of what I'll be looking at, how to identify exactly what it is that you are searching. I'm going to go up to my binoculars, choose one of my search templates, and then notice that our focus is on legal sample. Now what this search template searches, or the profile group that it looks at, is determined by whoever the author of that search template was. There may be, have been an initial set of search templates that were created for you firm-wide. And then if you have advanced knowledge, you may have learned how to create your own search templates. But it's very important to be able to identify what it is we're looking at. So we go here to the Profile Group button. We can see that Legal Sample is selected. If you want to search on more than one profile group, just click on that button. And you would check off the names of the profile groups that you would like to have searched. When I make this change, you'll notice that the search form changes. It's going to be limited down to this, just those fields that are shared between all three of the selected profile groups. You'll also notice that now in the profile group section of the form, it, it identifies that multiple profile groups are going to be searched. The next thing that's important to understand is what is being searched. You'll notice down at the bottom of my search form, it says search what active. Now that refers to the different parts of the profile group that are created by World Docs. Your firm may or may not be using archiving. Archiving is simply a way to have the software identify or users identify documents that should be taken out of the main active document store and put into an archive or think of it as no longer your main document database of documents that are accessed all the time. So that's referring to, if we look over here on the left hand side in the tree view, my active store are those documents that are in current use. Archive would be the location of any documents that we have had archived off. And our third choice would be our salvage bin or documents that have been deleted in the system from the system and they sit in the salvage period for a period of time. Now we can have World Doc search in all three of those different locations as well as the offline structure or those documents that have been shadowed down to the hard drive of our computer. So I'm going to go back up to my search form and I'm going to scroll down to the bottom so you can see under search what if I click on that button profile groups, your current list, or your salvage bin. If you're searching on a profile group, are we going to search the active document store, or the active and archive, or are we just going to search on the archive documents? So if your firm has a complex document management structure and you are using archive, it's very important to understand these aspects of the search form. I'm going to go back to checking off just active, click on OK. This next concept had more relevancy back when hard drives were much slower and our computers are slower than they are now. And this would be, be the ability to search a subset of documents. The idea would be you ran your first search. Let's say I'm doing a text and file search or a full text search for cigarettes. And let's say after I run this search, which uh, may have taken, oh, let's say it took five minutes because we have millions of documents in our document store and it took five minutes to run that search. Then what I want to do is run a sub search or a search on that subset of documents that have to do only with the state of Maryland. I would go back up to my binoculars, modify my last active search, and instead of searching the active document store, I would tell it to search the current list. Okay, then I could go down and add the search term Maryland. And when I clicked on search here, that should be a much quicker or much speedier search because it's no longer having to look at the entire store of documents, it's looking at that, at that subset of documents that were produced during the first search. The next concept that I'm going to introduce you to is the concept of Boolean operators. I'm going to bring up my search form and I'm going to search on my primary profile group. This is where most of my documents are stored. And I'm going to run a full text search, initially looking for documents that contain the word manual in the body of the document. I run that search and if I look in the lower right hand corner you see that there are 154 documents that mention manual. Now we're going to take a look at using Boolean operators in a full text search. 
going to click on my binoculars. I'm going to do a search on my primary profile group. And in the text and file field, I want to look for documents that mention the word manual and Lightner, the name of a client. Click on my search button and you can see that there's one document, a manual, a word document, that contains both terms. Now that's, uh, although it's also mentioned here in the name of the document, they would have been mentioned inside the body of the document as well and that's why they turned up in my search results. Now I'm going to go back to my binoculars and modify the last active search and I'm going to show you how changing the Boolean operator from an AND to an OR will produce many more documents. So either term has to be in the document for the document to appear in the hit list. Click on search and now you see there are 163 documents that mention either manual or mention that client name Lightner. You can combine Boolean operators either within the text and file field or you can also add additional profile form fields. So I want a doc type of a manual and I want it to be for a specific client world software. Okay, here you see the Boolean operator buttons appearing on the search form. The form currently appears with the AND Boolean operator set so that both terms or the client of world and the doc type of manual must be present. We'll run the search and we can see that there were six documents that met that criteria. We'll go back modify the last active search and I'm going to switch it to an OR situation just by clicking on the button and now you'll see we've gone from six documents to 163 documents. If you would like to search for an exact phrase within a document you must enclose that phrase within quotes. State of Ohio within quotes locates all the documents where State of Ohio is mentioned within the body of the document. Word stemming is another useful search tool. It's the use of the asterisk to the right of the letters of a word that you are certain are part of the word. So for instance, if I click on my binoculars, full profile search, and if I look for micro asterisk that will find any words that begin with micro, be it Microsoft, Microsystems, I'm going to run the search and I'm going to show you three different examples. First we see Microsystems, then we see Microsoft, and then finally Microprocessor.